The following program is video supplemental instruction. VSI is brought to you by the Teaching Center, UF's Learning Support Center, www.teachingcenter.ufl.edu. So problem number 18. Number 18 states, a uniform ladder of length 2 meters leans against a window, making an angle of 30 degrees to the vertical. There is no friction between the ladder and the window. The coefficient of static friction between the ladder and the ground is 0.6. If the window can withstand a force of 10 newtons without breaking, what is the maximum the, the mass of the ladder can be? This question has a whole lot of information to it, and you need to be able to figure out what you need and what you don't. This is the scenario that I drew out so that uh, we can visualize it better. So you have a ladder leaning against the window, and the force of the window that can withstand it is 10 newtons. And so that means that that's the force, Fw. Okay? So that means that we have some, the, that we're rotating around here. This is going to be a torque problem. This is the force that we're dealing with, so we're going to be rotating around this point. Okay, so it's, we're dealing with the circle of the ladder. This is the point of origin. So, what, uh, what other forces do we have to deal with? We have Fg. I'm telling you right now, you don't need this at all. It's very confusing. You don't need to worry about that because we're not dealing with the ladder slipping. We're dealing with the window breaking and how heavy the, the, the ladder can be. So really, this force and that force are the only things that you need to worry about. How do we relate the two? We have this going straight down and that going straight, um, straight into the window. How do we relate them? They're 90 degrees. Well, because this is dealing with torque, this is rotating around this, we know that we can't use just Fg, or, or really it's Mg. We can't just use that, we need it to be perpendicular to the radius. This is the radius of which it's rotating, it needs to be perpendicular to it. So, we have to break down the components. This angle is going to be 30 degrees. Oh, by the way, it says the, the question says 30 degrees to the vertical. That is a way of tricking you up. you got to make sure you understand where uh, the angle they're talking about is. They give you the angle. You could have easily put it, put 30 degrees here. I did it at first, and then I read to the vertical and realized, oh, wait, this is where the 30 degrees is. This is 60 degrees. And actually, I just messed up again because I, I was thinking 30 degrees, this is 60 degrees. So, now we have this force of mg cosine of 60, all right, and we turn, let's turn it into torque by multiplying it by, this is a two meter long uh, ladder, this is the center of mass, so it would be one meter. One meter is equal to the torque. Now, that torque is going to be equal to what torque is applied to the end of the ladder that is affecting the window. This torque here is the same amount, it's spread out throughout, and so the window is holding up the torque created by the, by the mass being pulled down, the window is holding up that torque. So we can relate it to, let's go ahead and translate it over here, this is the torque, and so we need we need to find out what force, or what this is, that the force of the window can be 10 newtons. So, what's this angle now? This was 60, this is 9 degrees from there, this is 30 degrees. We have this torque, this force, alright, so we have mg cosine of 60, which is that it, cosine of 60 is 1 half, so we have mg times 1 half times 1 meter 
is equal to 10 newtons, that's the force, all right? And then the torque that's created by that for that the maximum amount of force that it's able to handle is the torque is found by multiplying that force by two meters times two meters. And then we have to multiply it. This this force is multiplied by cosine of thirty. So that we get, so we understand that. Anyways, so after you figure that out, we find out that we find out that this is equal to 17.32, and this is going to be m times g, and then so we find out that m is equal to 3.4 kilograms. That's how heavy the ladder can be. It's a tricky question, a lot of irrelevant information. You need to be able to relate this all the way up here to torque, to torque, to then force again. It's complicated. The Teaching Center, UF's Learning Support Center, www.teachingcenter.ufl.edu.